Okay, so quick update. I came home late, so I was not able to post this on March 7th, which is my birthday. Um, so instead, this is going up on March 8th. So yeah, just wanted you to let that know. And now we'll go back to the video. Hello, my beautiful reader friends. Today is my 29th birthday and I curled my hair <laughs> and also am repping Lumpy Space Princess. Um, but yeah, for this video, I'm just going to do a birthday book haul and also just like show some footage from comics and stuff where I got some cool things. And um, yeah, and then also um, this little free library where um, I got another book from. But yeah, I just stumbled upon this one in Escondido. So let's just get into this. Um, most of these books are from Book Off when I went on a huge um, shopping spree there. And yeah, I do have other books that I've bought, but this video will be like really long if I talk about all of those. So yeah. Oh, also, <laughs> um, if you're new here, my name's Tiffany with an IE, as you can see. Um, yeah, let's just get into this video. So um, let's start off with the um, only book that, besides the little free library book, that is not from Book Off, and it is The Desolations of Devil's Acre by Ransom Riggs. This is the sixth and final installment in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. I've read the first three, but I haven't um, read any of the three in this new trilogy yet, so my friend has been on my case <laughs> to finish the series as well as to finish the legendary or to finish the Caraval series because I've only read Caraval and I haven't read the other two yet. So um, I'm thinking I'll do a dedicated catch up vlog where I finish these two series just for her. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for sending this to me for my birthday. Um, and then, okay, so, um, I will just show you, uh, this is the book that I got from the Little Free Library. Um, I'll insert the clip later, but yeah, I mean, I already own this book in hardcover and like the original, um, il illustrations and stuff, but, um, I wanted to get this to pass off to someone because I absolutely love the series and it's, this series is what, um, led me to Mysterious Galaxy in the first place to um, all the author signings and wonderfulness and stuff. Okay, so time for the book off books. So my happiest find um, was this box set <laughs> of all 12 How to Train Your Dragon books. Um, I was actually thinking after I finished reading the series, I was like, it'd be nice to get a box set, but it's kind of pricey, so I don't know. But yeah, then this was at Book Off, and I was like, I must get it because it's so much cheaper. So this originally retail price, it's $96. I got this for $45, and I'm just so happy, and it's in such good condition too, and yeah it's it's a really cool box set so i'm just gonna add it to my collection of books that i have box sets of okay um let's see uh the rest of these books aren't in any order really so yeah oh also i made the rainbow mobile from my rainbow crate unboxing finally so this is what it looks like um <laughs> Yeah, okay, so there's War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Um, I just picked it up because it's cheap. And then there's Pinocchio. Yes, um, the Disney movie is based on the book. Then I found Star Girl, which is Books and Lala's favorite childhood book. Um, it was her favorite book of all time until she read uh, Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens. So yeah, I've never read this, so... I decided to get it and it's only a dollar. 
Um, I found Stuart Little, which I also have not read. Um, I watched parts of the movie when I was a kid, but I mean, I've read and watched Charlotte's Web and I love that. Um, and I don't know what else I've read by him, but yeah, I've never read Stuart Little, that's for sure. So, so um, I remember the other book by E.B. White that I have read. It is The Trumpet of the Swan or just Trumpet of the Swan, but um, yeah, I love this book too, along with Charlotte's Web. Um, I was just in a rush and couldn't think of it earlier. But yeah, haven't read Stuart Little, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, back to the video. I found The Frog Princess, um, Josie from Frogs in Fiction, if you're watching this, that um, reading books with frogs in them vlog I suggested, this would be a good pick. <laughs> But yeah, I remember seeing this book on Goodreads and when I actually saw it at Book Off and I was like, it exists. So I had to get it. Um, then I found A Cricket Kind of Perfect by Linda Urban. Um, Linda was one of my advisors that I worked with at BCFA and she's so sweet. And I've heard so many good things about this book. It's short too, it's a middle grade. So I can't wait to dive into this. And then I found Love Maybe by Heather Hepler. Um, one of my younger cousins read this um, a few years back or however long. Um, I thought it sounded interesting, so it's short as well, so I just picked it up. I found My Life as a Ninja, which um, if you've seen my little free library haul and vlog, I found um, this other one um, in the series. It has a green cover. But um, yeah, so this is the same series. Oh, it's actually here on the back. My life as a cartoonist. Um, oh, sorry, barcode <laughs> um, sticker. I haven't taken off all the stickers yet. So yeah, and then I found um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, this really pretty edition um, with blue edges and a ribbon bookmark. Um, I have my really pretty Puffin and Bloom edition, so um, I'm probably going gift to this, gift this to someone. And then this is the Owl Crate version of The Hearts We Sold. You can tell because it's um, the letters are red and then the white is inside instead of the um, regular edition is white with red inside. So it's a, it's a small difference, but yeah. Um, I like the paperback version, which is what I have, because I just don't like faces on the cover. Um, but yeah, so I got this because I was just like, oh, I'll create edition and I can give it to someone. So yeah, then I found, um, Pretty Monsters by Kelly Link. She's super cool and talented. And, um, this is a bunch of short stories that she's written and, um, it sounded interesting when I first heard of it. And so when I saw it at book off, I just picked it up. Um, I found Return to the Isle of the Lost. This is the second book in the Descendants series by Melissa Dela Cruz, which um, the movies, um, the Disney movies are based off um, this book series. But yeah, I've read the first book. It was really fun, but I haven't gone around to reading the other three books. So now I can read this one. So yay. Um, I found a copy of Nevermore which I've just heard non-stop amazing things about this, especially since it was an Owl Crate Jr. pick and that it has a lot of like Harry Potter vibes. It's also thick, um, but yeah, so I picked it up. Um, this next one is kind of questionable, but I only got it because it's for a future um, video idea that I have. So this is Alexa by Hilary Duff. <laughs> So I am not expecting this to be good because most books that are fiction by celebrities usually aren't. There are exceptions, but yeah, so there's that. And then um, my cloud fell apart. Oh, there. <laughs> my rainbow, um, the cloud fell off <laughs> my rainbow. Um, then I found this paperback edition of Life Like by Jay Kristoff. 
I have a hardcover edition that I've already read, um, so I got this for um, to give away to someone. I found The Donut Fix by Jessie Janowitz. Um, she went to VCFA as well. This is the hardcover edition. I have the paperback, which has a blue cover, which I like more. So um, I'm giving this to a friend as well. I found the Owl Crate edition of Wild Beauty by Anna Marie Mecklemore. And I've read this book and I have the same exact edition. Um, Anna Marie teaches at VCFA and they are amazing. I absolutely love their writing. Um, but yeah, this is for a friend as well. And then I found this paperback of The Epic Crush of Jeannie Lowe by FCE. I've heard really good things about this. And um, this paperback edition has a pretty cool cover. So yeah, I'm very intrigued. And I found this really nice pristine condition of I Kissed Alice by Anna Birch with illustrations by Victoria Ying. And um, I attended a virtual event with Victoria Ying and she talked a bit about this book and I was intrigued. <laughs> but when I saw this like basically perfect copy at Book Off, I couldn't not get it. Then I got The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron. This is a purple cover and it has a really interesting synopsis. Um, so I'm really excited. There's a sequel. Um, I think it's only a duology though. And this last book, um, yeah, this is the last book, is Circus Mirandus by Cassie Beasley. She is another VCFA alum. And yeah, I love circusy books. And this is middle grade. This is a different cover as well um, than the other one I've seen. But it's really cool underneath. Like, look at that. Um, yeah. And then this is just really nice so just covering up the sticker <laughs> okay um and then I have two other things that are not books but I just wanted to open them unbox them on camera because I've been waiting to find out what these are um they're uh different Pokemon blind boxes they're really cute um if you've seen in my um Chinese Zodiac book tag video um Wait, not that one. My Lunar New Year book tag vid video. Um, I can link both of them. But yeah, I showed my bookshelves and I showed some of my cool Pokemon decoration stuff. But these are like kind of similar. And yeah, let's see what I got. Okay. So... Oh, I got the Pikachu one. Okay, that's cool. I can put that together later and um, I'll film a clip later and show you guys. And then this one. Oh, I got the Bulbasaur one. Okay, so both first gen Pokemon and yeah, just instructions. And of course it comes with a little pack of gum. But yeah, um, the different ones that could come, there's a uh, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, which is what I got, a Lolan Vulpix, which is really cute, there's two Pichus, a Jigglypuff, and a Vile Plume. Um, if I could have chosen, I would have wanted to get the Alolan Vulpix because that's really cool. Um, as for this, there was um, Eevee, Leafeon, Sylveon, um, Butterfree, another Alolan Vulpix, and Pikachu. And, you know, I would have chosen Butterfree <laughs> or um, one of the evolutions, but uh, the Alolan Vulpix would have been cool too. But yeah, kind of funny that I got the basic starter Pokemon. Pokemon. So yeah, so that's it for um, this section of the video. I will now um, insert my vlog footage from the Little Free Library as well as um, comics and stuff in Carlsbad. And then I'll come back at the end um, to show you that I put these together. And yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends for a bit now, so I'll be back later. But um, yeah, bye for now.
vlog footage. Um, for the Little Free Library, it was really cute and funny enough when I was um, heading over to meet up with my friends today. Well, technically yesterday because it is now the 8th and it's like almost 4 in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday I passed by two Little Free Libraries in North Park, but I did not have time to stop and get out and record me opening them and then searching for books that um, would interest me to take back because I was late to meeting up with my friends for my birthday. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go back another time and then do vlog footage for that and put it in another video. Um, as for comics and stuff, I did not vlog me walking around the entire store because that store was humongous. <laughs> so, I mean, with just like the three minutes that you saw, that was just part of the store. Um, I did get some cool stuff. So I got this really cute 
alpaca plushie. I just wanted it because it's big and soft and fluffy. And yeah, so <laughs> I have a smaller alpaca plushie that's like this big and it's purple, but I really wanted a big one. So yeah. <laughs> and then I also, let's see, I got um, an anime poster. <laughs> I'm not going to take it out because then I'd have to put it back in and I am not ready to take it out. So yeah, but um, it is from the anime called um, Nura Rise of the Yokai Clan. Um, I'll put an image of, on the screen so you can see what this poster looks like. Um, yeah, it's super duper awesome. I love the anime. I've only read the first volume of the, um, of the manga, but um, I liked it, although I forgot what happened in that and then it wasn't until I watched the anime that I was like oh yeah <laughs> that's what happened so yeah um and then oh so here are the little Pokemon things that I put together um this one actually did not require any construction um to put together so this was already set up um, but this is the Pikachu in the perfume bottle. And then, oh, and then this is Bulbasaur, sleepy Bulbasaur in a basket. Um, these dropped earlier and this one was kind of tough to stick back in again. So I'm not going to touch that anymore. <laughs> um, and then, um, yeah, just wanted to show you my other Pokemon stuff. So I know I mentioned that I showed this in a video, but I will show a close up here. So here's my resin cube that has Bulbasaur and Butterfree. Oh, it's hard to do this without the glare. But yeah, it was super cute. So uh, you can find this at terrapocket.us and um, they have these resin cubes that are handmade and they also have um, these Pokeball terrariums and I got two of them and the cool part is that they come with remotes and so they light up. So here I have um, Espeon. You can see these are handmade as well. Um, the wooden base, if you buy it, it's it costs a bit extra, but it's magnetic. And this is Umbreon, but this one is a gift for someone. I don't know why this one always gets a glare. But, um, yeah. And then um, I'll be right back because I'm going to turn off my lamp before I turn out the lights and turn the lights on these terrariums. So, uh, BRB. Okay, I'm back from turning off the lamp um, since I'm sitting on the floor and it's not as um, close. But yeah, let me show you really quickly what these look like when I turn the lights off. And yeah. Okay. I have a remote for my light. So I'm still here, but look how cool this is. It's actually easier to see the Umbreon one than the Espeon one, but yeah. And then there's different modes. Yep. Oh, I like this one. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay. Okay, I am back. Uh, just give me another second. I'm going to go turn my lamp back on. Okay, I'm back again. Better lighting. And um, the last two things that I wanted to show... Um, are 
this beautiful book bow well book sleeve because it's technically not from book bow but um this book sleeve it's super pretty but yeah my friend dj got me this along with some other stuff but i wanted to feature this um yeah thank you so much um and then this um i just wanted to feature because it's pretty <laughs> and it is another copy of alice Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, but it's just really cute. But um, it's really short and it doesn't have any drawings inside, so it's just pretty on the cover. But yeah, so I might give this to another friend, but I don't know who yet, so we'll see. But that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Um, I had a pretty good birthday, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, it's time to sleep now. So I'll see you guys next weekend. <laughs> or it's Monday, so this weekend. Um, but yeah, bye!